Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So we recently conducted a mock test, a free mock test for CSINET exam and to be frank, this was the first time I was trying to conduct something or trying to organize something and uh, I had no idea how it is going to go but uh, thankfully it went well and uh, I got a very overwhelming uh, response from you guys and I'm really thankful for that. Uh, so there were a lot of questions regarding result, regard, regarding how I am going to see the solution and all the things. So I thought instead of replying every message or in, instead of replying every query, I will make a video and I can explain you everything over here, right. So first of all, let me clarify a few things, okay. So the time for the mock test was from 9 a.m. till 10 p.m. and uh, like there were many people who joined the mock test around 10 p.m., okay. So that is why the res response or like the system was trying to wait for them to submit their uh, like response and then try to uh, like uh, make the result or try to generate the overall result because the idea of this live mock test was not only to give you your individual performance but how it is compared to others okay. So that was the major idea of it so for that it was important for, for the system to wait for everyone to finish their test and then it can like uh, generate the result okay so that's why the result got delayed because i actually like replied many students that the result will be generated after 10 pm because this was the first time i also thought that it will be generated after 10 pm but not uh, the system waited for others also to finish their test or submit their test and then generate that then after some time there were around 10 20 students who uh, were who didn't submitted their response or those who didn't pressed the submit button at the end of their uh, their test and because of that the system again it was not able to verify whether their test is still going on or what they are trying to do whether their uh, thing is submitted or not so because of that the result was again delayed a little bit but now uh, things are done and uh, your results are generated okay you all can see your result and i'm going to show you how you can do that and this is not a usual result like it is not just uh, how much you have done or what marks you have got or how much correct you have done or incorrect it's a very detailed report okay it's not a result i would say it's a report so i'm going to show you how it goes okay how detailed it is so i'll i'll show you each and everything in this video and i'll also show you how you can do that okay so every one of you can check and uh, yeah there were more than 300 around 330 plus students who enrolled for this and who gave this test uh, completed this test so thank you so much for joining and uh, now I'll show you on my screen like let's go to my screen and I'm going to show you that how you can basically see your response, uh, see your result, see your report. Okay, so let's look upon now. So this is how you are going to see once you uh, log in to the page or log into the website and this is how you are going to see on your laptop, on your mobile phone also you will get that. So you can see there is an option of my dashboard either you can click on this or you can come down and you can see this course if you have already enrolled into it and if you have already given the test then it will show you continue over here okay so you can look upon any of the option you can either click on continue from here or you can click on uh, like from here you can click on my dashboard okay so i am going to uh, click con continue directly and this is going to directly take you to the test okay so this is how you get from the continue button and if you just want to go from the dashboard then from the dashboard this is how you are going to see once you click on my dashboard this is how you are going to see this is the test test which you have given free live test once you click on this then you will be taken to this page and it says that you have already attempted the free full length mock test for CSINET exam the result has been declared please check your report by clicking the below button simple as that you just have to click on this report button and now this is your detailed report log this is how it is going to look so let me explain each and everything because a lot of effort has been there uh, from my side to make sure that each and everything is there first thing is remark okay this is very important depending upon how much score you have done you will get some remark and some suggestions okay so i just attempted it from my side and i just like I just did it randomly and I got marks in negative okay so don't ju judge me on that but I just tried to do it in a way that uh, I just get the report and all okay so yeah so the remark for me it says that don't be discouraged use this as an opportunity to identify your starting point begin with the basics and build a strong foundation for improvement this is because my result is very very low like I am just I, as I told you the marks are in negative and there are some suggestions that what are the things which you have to do focus on understanding and master basic concept 
work through simpler practice it will be different for you okay depending upon how much you have scored depending upon that you will have different remark and different suggestions now uh, there were total 120 question maximum time was 180 minutes and maximum marks was 200 now this is my attempt okay this will be uh, for you like you will get your attempt the date and time at which you had you have attempted uh, how much rank you have got compared to like there were around 339 students who have enrolled and who have given this test and uh, my rank is 337 okay your will be depending upon how much how you have prepared or how you have performed basically how much marks i have obtained minus 1.5 okay again uh, then the time taken correct questions how much questions i have done how much incorrect question i have done how much questions i have skipped and this is a graph which is telling me that how much questions i were total total were 120 question i only did four correct question i did 19 incorrect questions and i skipped 97 questions depending upon you it will be different okay the graph will be based upon how you have performed this is the leaderboard i'm super happy with how you guys have performed congratulations to all those who are having this uh, like their names in the top 10 so surajit sneha tejasvi tejasvini uh, mamta biswa upendra biswa reshma astha and rakesh uh, well done congratulations to all of you and for every one of you who have attempted this so these are top 10 you can see other entries also so like you can see for them also for others also so how much marks they have obtained how much correct questions they have done how much incorrect they have done and how much questions they have skipped how much time they have taken everything is mentioned in over here okay like for others like for all the other students now is that thing where you have to look goal wise okay that means topic wise how many questions were there and how many questions you have done correctly so if you see there is a topic the first topic is atomic structure and spectroscopy so or i'll i'll just show you one of them so let's say if i click on this so general aptitude okay so general aptitude there were total 120 questions and uh, like how many questions i did incorrect so all these things are given in detail over here in this and that is also in this table so this was the topic from which there was one question whether i did that question correctly or not whether i skipped or not so all this information is here okay so topic wise this is like how you will see a detailed report and depending upon what topic question you have attempted and how much you have scored based upon that now this is comparison between you uh, average and topper so this is how your score will show over here how much score the topper has done and how much is the average score which others have scored okay so how you are performing based uh, compared to others that's what is mentioned over here next is your question wise attempt and here is where you can see your solution okay so let's say uh, from coordination chemistry you got one question and you were able to do it or not what was the correct answer what was your answer and let's say you did it wrong or you got negative mark for that so you can click on this to see okay show the solution so you will see that this was the question this was the right answer and this is the explanation for the answer right this is how you can see all the questions like whatever questions are there uh, this question also like uh, so this is the this was the question the experimental observed magnetic moment a spin only values was asked so how many unpaired electron and if you see this is the solution which is provided to you okay so yeah this is how you will get your detailed report you can check for yourself i just wanted to let you know that now the result is there you can see analyze and do let me know in the comments what are your suggestions or whatever thing you want to share with me you are most welcome in the comment section but yeah thing is done from my end and uh, it was done nicely from my side i would say and i am super happy for that and yeah it is all possible because of all of you you guys have participated in it so thank you so much for that and uh, that's it from my side for this particular video i'll see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care